The Russian regional turboprop passenger aircraft, Ilyushin 114-300, continues to advance steadily through its certification process. New photographs dated November 16th and 19th, 2025, depict aircraft number 54115 taking off again from Zhukovsky. By this point, the test fleet had already conducted approximately 190 certification flights, and the total number continues to increase each week. Less than a month earlier, the same aircraft completed a series of flights in the Gorno Altai region, where it was evaluated in mountainous terrain and challenging meteorological conditions. These flights form a vital component of the certification program, demonstrating the aircraft's performance in high altitude conditions and demanding regional environments. As the number of completed tests approaches the target, the program is entering its most intensive phase, with flight activity occurring nearly every day. The Ilyushin 114-300 is a fully domestically manufactured Russian regional turboprop aircraft. Its fuselage, engines, avionics, and all major components are designed and produced within Russia. The aircraft is an upgraded version of the original Ilyushin 114 platform, redesigned to meet modern safety standards, fuel efficiency requirements, and the performance demands of regional air transport. One of the primary advantages of the Ilyushin 114-300 is its capability to operate effectively at remote and minimally equipped airfields. Many such airfields have short or unpaved runways, limited navigational infrastructure, and severe weather conditions. These features make the aircraft particularly suitable for regions such as Siberia, the Russian Far East, and the Arctic North. In terms of performance and passenger capacity, it is comparable to modern regional turboprops like the ATR-72. The aircraft is powered by two TV-7-117S T-01 turboprop engines, each generating approximately 2,900 horsepower. These engines drive low noise, six-bladed AV-112-114 propellers and are designed to enhance fuel efficiency while reducing maintenance costs. The aircraft also incorporates advanced composite materials, a modern digital flight deck, and a fully redesigned ergonomic cockpit. According to official specifications, the Ilyushin 114-300 can accommodate up to 64 passengers on routes of up to 2,000 kilometers, with a cruising speed between 450 and 500 kilometers per hour. This makes it well-suited for medium-range regional routes and enables it to replace aging Soviet-era aircraft such as the Antonov-24 and Antonov-26, many of which are nearing the end of their operational lifespan. The certification program for the Ilyushin 114-300 includes 270 planned flights performed by three test aircraft. Aircraft number 54115, designated OP-2, is the first Ilyushin 114-300 built entirely from scratch. It was manufactured in 2023 and began flight operations in 2024. The OP-1 aircraft, created by modifying an existing Ilyushin 114 airframe, started flight testing in 2020. A third aircraft, OP-3 with registration number 54116, joined the certification campaign in March 2025. All certification flights are planned for completion in the first quarter of 2026. After that, the first three serially produced aircraft are scheduled for delivery by the end of 2026. At the Lukovitsi Aircraft Manufacturing Plant, where production is ongoing, at least six serial Ilyushin 114-300 aircraft are currently in assembly, although the exact stage of completion has not been publicly disclosed. Another major milestone was achieved in November 2025 when the AV-112-114 propeller used on the Ilyushin 114-300 received its formal certification. This approval is crucial because the propeller is a key component affecting both flight performance and safety. With certification nearing completion, 
and production steadily advancing, the project is moving confidently toward operational readiness. The Ilyushin 114-300 plays an important strategic role in Russia's regional aviation sector. Many remote regions depend heavily on air travel due to long distances, insufficient road infrastructure, severe climates, and isolated populations. The aircraft's ability to operate from short or lightly prepared runways offers significant advantages over foreign alternatives. From an economic standpoint, the aircraft provides lower fuel consumption compared to many older regional turboprop models. For airlines serving routes with lower passenger numbers, fuel efficiency can determine whether a route is profitable. Government agencies and state-owned enterprises are also expected to be major customers, using the aircraft for transport in remote regions, Arctic operations, and specialized missions. The Aleutian 114-300 also supports Russia's broader objective of industrial self-sufficiency. It reduces dependence on imported aircraft and aviation components, especially during a period when sanctions and foreign restrictions have limited access to Western technology. Developing a fully domestic regional aircraft strengthens the national goal of technological autonomy. Once it enters service, the Ilyushin 114-300 is expected to significantly modernize the regional fleet and improve national connectivity especially in areas where aviation is essential rather than optional. In the coming months, the aviation industry will closely monitor several important developments. The most anticipated milestone is the official issuance of the type certificate, marking the conclusion of the flight test program. After that, attention will shift to the delivery of the first serial aircraft to operators scheduled for late 2026, these aircraft will begin flights on regional routes, including those in remote northern and far eastern regions, helping to restore stable air connectivity. There is also growing interest in potential export opportunities for the Ilyushin 114-300. Countries with similar geographical and infrastructural challenges, such as long distances, severe climates, or limited airport facilities, may find the aircraft attractive for their regional networks. If export demand materializes, it could boost production and further stimulate the domestic aviation industry. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.